Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to announce that I am starting my How to Love Yourself series. So many of us want to love ourselves, but a lot of us have no idea what that looks like or how to do that. And I figured it'd be a perfect time for me to create a series of videos on how it is that I have practically and spiritually, emotionally, and mentally been able to love myself. And I wanted to put this into different steps on how it is that you guys can apply those things into your own life because it really has transformed the way that I view myself, the way that I feel about myself. I feel a lot more self-confident. And just about three years ago, I struggled so much with my self-esteem, my self-confidence. I felt so insecure. Honestly, it was hard for me to even tell people what it is I wanted because I had no idea who I was. If someone were to ask me what type of clothes I wanted to wear or my favorite hairstyle or the type of things that I wanted to do in my life, like I had an idea, but I feel like I really didn't know who I was. So that is why I created this series so that I can share with you guys how it is that we can all learn to love ourselves at a much deeper level, not just on a surface superficial level of, you know, oh, I love my appearance, oh, I look cute, or I look handsome, and it's it goes much deeper than that. Like, you're showing up with the energy of self-confidence. You're gonna radiate, you're gonna glow from the inside out, and that is the goal with this series. So, to start out today, we're discussing inner child healing. And this has probably been the most influential and the most transformative experience that I have gone through. And no, this is not a one and done situation, but it is something that if you practice and you implement into your life on a regular basis, you are going to notice profound differences and huge transformation in a short period of time. And I wanna give you guys a couple of different modalities or different ways that you can approach inner child work because there are a lot of different ways. I have learned and kind of taken a little bit from all of the people that I've learned from and kind of like meshed it into one thing that has worked for me. I would say the first thing that is very important when it comes to inner child healing is understanding that a lot of the emotions and the ways that we are triggered are not necessarily us in this present moment, but our past or the younger version of ourselves think inner child, you know, like the little girl in me, maybe when I was eight, five, three, it kind of goes way back when in the moment of the trigger, it's not actually 23 year old Holly that's being triggered. It's the five year old Holly that hasn't been seen or loved in that moment and time. And so what I'm doing is I'm reliving that trauma in the now present moment. And the power in this is that now that I am grown and that I have the awareness that I do, I'm able to heal and I'm able to transmute that energy that Holly felt in the past that she was not able to fully experience because maybe it was too much for her at the time, that now I have the awareness and the capability to do that. So I'm able to heal that in the present moment. And what this does is it completely dissolves those triggers or those traumas and the things that you may think are just who you are or how you respond to things when really it's not who you are it is just how you're responding based on past baggage so inner child healing is one of the things that will truly transform your life in literally every single area you're going to feel more free you're going to feel more happy you're going to be more self-confident i would say the number one step that you can do is spend some time with yourself every single day even if it's just 10 minutes and what I want you to do is get a journal. Like, I'll show you guys mine right now. I literally have this journal that I use for my gratitude. I use for, you know, obviously planning and all that stuff. What I'll do is I'll sit down with myself with a pen and my journal. And I'll set like a timer, you know, 10 minutes. Because everyone should be able to carve out 10 minutes a day for themselves. And you're going to write in your journal, I want to speak with 
the younger version of myself or I want to channel or speak to my inner child. And I want you to allow any emotions, any feelings, any memories to just come to the surface without judging them. Just be aware of them. Just kind of sitting from a third person perspective like you're looking down on your childhood with the awareness and the wisdom that you have now. And what that has done for me is I've been able to revisit experiences in my past that my younger self was not able to sit with because it was too much. It was either too overwhelming, it was maybe she felt unsupported, she didn't feel like she had the capability to sit in those heavier emotions. So for me, a lot of this was sitting with grief, you know, sitting with anger and rage that I had may have felt in, you know, earlier years in my life. And what happens is when you sit with that and you're able to be aware and to see that younger version of yourself, you're going to notice that you're going to have an emotional release. So you probably will get either teary eyed or you will feel tingling in your body. And this is a good sign because you'll know if that is happening, that your body is having a release. And this is beautiful because that means that you have finally seen, healed, and transmuted that energy from your past and it is now dissolved. Literally, you are freeing up space in your energetic field to be able to experience more happiness, more bliss, and more, more fulfillment in your life. So this practice has been really helpful for me. Get yourself a journal, sit down with yourself 10 minutes a day, try to be present with that inner child and allow those things to come through you. The next thing that you're gonna notice when you start doing these practices is that throughout your day, you may notice that you start to feel a lot more emotions coming to the surface. Don't be scared, this is a good sign. This means that your inner child is feeling like you are seeing them and that they have more things to show you, meaning that there's a lot more emotions and a lot more energy that needs to be transmuted. And instead of going throughout your day and you know maybe randomly you're gonna feel angry or randomly you feel sad, instead of pushing that down or denying it and being like, Ugh, I'll deal with that later, try to sit with yourself or if you're at work or whatever, just say, you're allowed to feel this. You're allowed to feel angry in my body. You're speaking to yourself, but really you're speaking to that energy that's within you. You're allowed to feel anger. You can still feel these emotions without having a reaction to this. This is gonna allow you to be anywhere in the world and not have to worry about having this instant reaction that most of us have. So you're learning how to respond instead of react. So sitting with yourself, telling yourself in the moment, whatever emotion you're feeling, that you are allowed to feel that. Make that energy feel safe to be felt in your body. Because what you're doing in that moment is you are parenting yourself in the way that you needed to be parented as a little kid. All of us want to be seen and heard and felt and understood as little kids. And what happens is in the present moment when we are constantly denying ourselves the time to see or feel these emotions, we are literally repeating those patterns that our parents ingrained into us, no shame, no judgment, but we're parenting ourselves like our parents parented us. And this is a huge eye-opening experience I had, and I actually learned this from another guy that I watch. He's a healer, his name's Kyle Cease. Um, if you're interested in learning more about this stuff, you should definitely go um, subscribe to his channel because he teaches so much about how it is that we end up repeating patterns that our parents teach, you know, teach us because we have, we see them as role models. You know, we really don't have a choice. It's just, you know, we learn those things and then we become aware of these things later in life. And hopefully at that point, we have the awareness to change them and to become more of a loving person and be able to show up differently for our kids and for the generations to come. So yes, that would be the next thing. So journaling, writing things down, spending time with yourself, and then understanding that now that you've opened the door for your inner child to come through, to speak to you, to give you, to finally be able to see that part of yourself that you've probably been stuffing down for so long, understand that it's gonna take a, you know, it's gonna take time for you to heal, to process through these emotions and be patient with yourself. 
try to be as loving and compassionate as you can with that little kid inside of you that's just wanting you to see them, to love them. Like, this is what you've wanted your entire life. All the people that you've been chasing, the things that you've been chasing in your life, thinking that those things will fulfill you, those were just ways to try and numb yourself from the deeper pain that you're feeling, which is childhood wounds. See yourself, love yourself, and then you're not gonna need other people to see you, to love you. You're not gonna need that in your life. The difference is, yes, it will be nice for people to, to love you, to support you, and to validate you, but you don't need it anymore because you're giving it to yourself. And that is so awesome and so profound because you're freeing up your energy once again. You're becoming less desperate. You're a much more balanced human being and people are gonna feel that. They're gonna feel your energy is different. They're going to feel that you are much more present. And that is how you love yourself. That is how you become someone who radiates light from the inside out. And those are probably the main two things when it comes to inner child healing that I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, if you guys want more information about this, obviously I can go in more in depth on this topic. And these are also things that I help people with in my one-on-one -on -one coaching that I've been speaking to you guys about. I have a lot of ways to help you process through these emotions, especially if you're needing support because you are going to notice as you do this work that sometimes it may feel overwhelming at times, and it may feel like too much for you to process. And that is when you need to get the help to be able to step out and have the courage to ask for help from either a loved one, a therapist, and that's what I'm here for. Cause I've gone through those things and I'm able to now help other people go through similar experiences and go through and hold a space for people to feel their emotions, to feel like finally, they can get through it and someone who feels safe and who's not going to judge them for whatever it is they're going through. If you guys are interested in doing a session with me, the information will be in the description box below. And of course, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell because there are more videos to come. If you hit the bell notification, it will notify you for future videos. I'm posting about twice a week right now. And that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.